Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a P.O. Box opening video for you um, and I've got a stack of letters that I got in my P.O. Box over um, the course of January. So before we get started I just want to say huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and has been watching and um, engaging with my videos because I have hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm so happy and when I hit 10,000 I'm going to make a draw my life video. Let's jump right in and get started. So the first letter I'm going to open today is from Lucy and she's from the United States and she's written on the back open me first so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So it's a cute little envelope just a plain craft envelope and it's got this beautiful washi tape around it that I really love. Now inside we have some stickers so I'll open that up. She's popped in some tea. Here are two kinds of tea I like. Um, they be they may be a bit boring, but I like them. I'm sure I'll like them too. And I love the washi tape there. There's little um, I'm guessing the little ghosts out of Pac-Man. They're really cute. And then we've got this washi tape. It's got um, like a carnival, and then the pineapple, and then the little flowers at the bottom there. And then what is this? A bracelet! That is really cool and creative. I love that. Thank you. Look these little watermelon ones. They're super cute. Very cute, adorable stickers. I love these. Oakley Dockley. Okay. Oakley Dockley, Nemberino. I always go really crazy when I make these videos because I sit in front of the camera for a long time. And all I'm doing is opening mail, so there's not a lot to actually talk about. So I go a little bit crazy just saying random things. So, bear with. Okay. Next is this adorable one. It's actually from Finland, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but May. Um, and it's got this adorable little Totoro, and I just think it was so cute. And I even like these stamps, they're so like, shiny. So inside, there's a little Finnish music playlist, which that's really cool. Um, adorable tea. Oh, I saw this character all over Japan. Um, I'm not sure what the character is, but my Airbnb host loved this little character. Um, I actually haven't seen, I think it's an animation, I haven't seen it, but that's really cool that the tea is got that a little animation on because I'm pretty sure it's originally Finnish, um, if I'm not mistaken, and then in Japan they just love it. <laughs> so we've also got a nice big letter, which is very beautifully written, um, I'll have to read that after, and then what's this? This is so cute. I think they're just little cards. Yeah, it's just an array of little cards with little faces, and I like these colours a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That was an adorable little package. I love these little packages where they're nice and sweet. Um, and I've actually got this really big one here from Erin Jones. And if you may remember, I actually randomly selected her name out of a hat and she won my giveaway for the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. So I was so surprised to get a letter back from her. And it's big, like it's a really big letter. So let's see what's inside my little package here. Oh my god, this sucks! These are the most adorable socks you've ever seen. I love them. Thank you so much. And then there's this little letter. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. So it looks like she's done a little drawing. I can add that to my cork board. This one's a little zine. That's very cute. Um, down here we've got the letter. Oh, it's a big letter too. I love big long letters. You can get to know the person when they send you a nice long letter. Thank you. I'll pop that away. And thank you so much. I do. I really do love the socks. And this is so adorable. <laughs> I'm glad you liked your Kiki K Paper Lovers book. This one I actually got today. It's from Canada. Urgh. I don't know how I'm going to open this. Ah, I got a coin. <laughs> oh, this is cool. The... Queen Elizabeth II on the back, which is actually the same as ours, but on the front it's the Canadian 25 cents. 
So I didn't actually know that they had the same um, back of because this would be 10 cents for us and it's pretty much the same size as well so it's really cool that it's quite similar. Um, when I replied back to you, oh, I didn't even say who it was. This was Natasha. Oh, Natasha, I've actually been waiting for a letter from you. Um, I, yeah, I'll send you back a 10 cents to show you how similar our 10 cents is to your 25 cents. And it's so odd you have 25 cents. Um, thank you so much for the adorable little drawing. So we've got this really cool green tea. Um, and then we've got, I think some, oh, a little pin. I can add that to my pin collection. I don't know if I've shown you guys my pin collection, but I've got a pretty big one. I'll have to show you guys one day. Um, what are these? Little Vancouver cutouts. Um, some flags. What else have we got? Another Drake tea. Oh no. <laughs> I don't even know if it was Drake on the front, I'm probably wrong, but that's a really cool tea. Oh my god, there's so many goodies inside. It's all falling out. So we've got some Christmas washing tape, but it didn't come in time for Christmas. We've got some more tea. Um, we've got a little letter. We've got another little cacti. I'll have to pop that on my cork board. Um, oh, I think there's some more little cutouts. It's all just like falling out. Ah, another tea. So I'm going to have to taste this and see if it's nice. It's lot 35. What's this? Ah, oh, a little picture. Thank you. I'll pop that one on my cork board as well. And then what's this? Va Instant. Christmas Blend. That sounds cool. Oh my god, look at all these little things that just came out. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for everything. So this one actually says... Santa Claus from the North Pole. Those are really cool stickers. And I really like the way it's simply decorated. It's like a really simplistic, beautifully packaged letter there. Thank you. Um, and then here's the actual letter. Oh my god, look at your handwriting. That's like handwriting goals right there. I have the worst handwriting anyone I've ever written a letter to. You'd probably know that my handwriting is pretty bad, but I'm I'm really like really practicing to get it better and better. But this is like perfection. This is, it looks like you've done it on a typewriter. That's how perfect it looks. Thank you so much, Eleanor from the UK. Are we still recording? Yes, yes we are. So Irene from Canada. Uh, this one actually looks very Christmassy. I don't know why. It's just got lots of green and red dots all over it. So makes me feel it might be a Christmas one. Or oh, this is really cute. It's not a Christmas one at all. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here it says Christmas greeting. So a bit late, but still, that's very sweet of you. Um, we've got kawaii things. And what does this say? Random gifts. So I'm gonna have to open that one up. Um, and then we've got this really beautiful, um, like stamped little, um, envelope and it says, for Brittany. I really like that. That's a really cool effect with the little leaf there. I actually already opened this one up. Um, this one is from a fellow YouTuber. So I read the letter and, did I read the letter? Yeah, I must have read the letter. Oh no, I didn't. I just read the postcard. I mean, not the business card. So I'm actually going to put that in my description box below if you want to check her out. Um, I think she was Brazilian. Where did this letter come from? Yeah, Brazilian. So she also does lots of crafty videos. I'll put her little YouTube um, URL in the description box below if you want to check it out. Oh, look at this postcard she's made. How cool is that? I love that. That is so creative. She's even got the stamp on it and the little stamp that says um, the date it would have been sent and then all the little photographs on the front. That's so creative. Thank you. So three left. This one is from Mexico. I actually don't think I've got any mail from Mexico yet. I should, you know what I've been thinking? So I should get like a big map or something and put a little um, pin on all the letters, like all the places around the world I get letters from. I thought that would be such a good idea since I get letters from literally everywhere. Oh, this is cool. So we've got little stars at the bottom. And then, oh, she's made this. It says it's homemade. 
Oh, that is really cute. So this is from the Netherlands. Very diverse range of lettuce today, which I am loving. I've already chopped the top off. Oh, look at this little badge. Sorry, my camera down. I didn't realize I wasn't filming anymore. I just went through this whole um, letter here. It was from Lotte. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce that. L O T T E. Lotte. Lotte. I'm sorry, I'm not really good with names. <laughs> um, but I already opened this one as well. I was just saying how beautifully wrapped everything was and that it was supposed to be delivered by Christmas, but it didn't get here in time. But that's the mail for you. It's going to be slow and steady, but we got it eventually. So thank you so much. Cute little bags added, a little mail tag, and this beautiful letter. And I've never seen letter paper like this before. It's got the most beautiful flowers all around the edges. And this letter for, was from Nikki from the United States. So thank you so much. That was all the letters I got today. So. Thank you to everyone who sent me a letter. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next few days. Bye.